Hello, this is George Hayes, and this is tutor C Introduction to C, tutorial number 8, and we're going to be starting off where we left off in C007. If you have been following along, you can go ahead and use your file. If you need it, you can get a copy of that project from grhmedia.com from the Introduction to C tutorials there. And we're going to go ahead and start as far as by adding a standard AFX file, all right, which is usually done as far as in both the Visual C++ from Microsoft, and it's a good standard to go ahead and use. So I'm going to do it here. I'm going to file, new, and then come back down where it says file on here. So we're going to add a header file and go. Next, and then you have to click directory to tell it where you want. STDAFX. H. And if you get used to this on doing it on here, it'll help you as far as dealing with Microsoft. Put it in both the debug and release copies. And we're going to hit finish. It goes ahead and adds in these lines here. That means if not defined, standard AFX includes, and then de define standard AFX includes. Then that way, if it's not already defined, it goes ahead and defines it. And so, what we're going to start off by doing is moving a couple of the include files, control X from here and paste them in here, control V and we're going to go ahead and build so it saves that and one of our problems there is we haven't included that file above so we're going to do a pound include the standard so the main.c program actually refers to it and instead of putting a Less than greater than comments around it. We're going to standard AFX.h like that. And then we're going to build again. And you see no errors, no warnings. Okay. So now that this file is included and built and so forth, we're going to go ahead and add another function and another file. And so we're going to go ahead and do those two files real quick. We go file, header, go, next. And we're going to go ahead and display h save put in both debug and relief finish alright and then we're going to add, add the c file to that as well so new go back down file c source file go next c again and display dot c save one in both debug and release, finish. And while we're in here, we uh, create a secondary function declaration, the function two in this case. All right, and just put a semicolon at the end of it. Come down to C, and we're going to do include st. Sorry, quotes and std afx dot h. All right. Then we're gonna sit, go ahead and write define our functions. In this case, func two. And this one is gonna be extern character array buffer. And we're gonna do a print f. Quotes percent dollar sign buffer and in return zero. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're reaching out as far as to that global variable that's in main in, in the main over here, you know, dot c file, and we're going to be pulling that variable and reading it and then printing it here is all. So now we're going to have to include this display.h file as far as in here. So we're going to go ahead and do a include display.h right there. And I think we can build it at this point and run it. And 
it doesn't have any errors because we haven't actually made a function call to that function yet. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And we'll go rv equals function 2 and build again and run. And as you can see, it's done it twice. And we'll go ahead and write in the secondary portion to this to prove that it's actually from that second function. And we'll come back over here and do a second print f percent string function 2 slash n and we'll know it actually came from here alright run it and there's your function 2 so there's a couple issues you can create when you're sitting there and creating uh, external variables if you want to declare your external variable as far as in a header file such as for if you want to move this character buffer up into a main.h we're going to go ahead and add a new file real quick main.h file header go next and main.h there is some issues that you can create if you um, we'll just show you this best thing we're going to take this control X from it go to main.h and do a control V now this should create an error because we have defined it in here and what's going on is this is calling the standard AFX file and this is also going to um, include main.h alright so if we build it's going to create errors and the reason it's doing it is because multiple definitions of the same buffer now variable here's that definition and see we've defined it at this point now it's okay to have multiple declarations of it like this we can put that in but as far as defining it, we can't do that as far as for once. Alright. So if we build this, it won't give us any errors, but it won't also have the output that we're looking for for all the two locations unless we go into let's say main.z here and go to standard AFX to start with. We're gonna add in strings up in here. Sorry, string.h, go to main, and go down past the function, the variable declaration, and we're going to tr copy, which is for string copy, and we're copying into the buffer, and this is a global variable. slash n and semicolon and we'll go ahead and build that and run and as you can see it goes this is a global variable this is function one this is a global variable function two so it's been what's happening is this variable that's been declared as far as the main dot h is now global and visible to all the other files and can be called using the external buffer and extern and then the, func the character declaration right behind it so this just allows us to access that global and I think we're going to end it at that point here and thank you very much